Hey! I'm just kidding. Anyways, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a great day for gaming, and you know my name, and today we're going to be playing a fun game that I've been wanting to play for a long time, and it's kind of old. Well, I don't know what you call old, but anyways, this is, which you already know from many famous YouTube gamers, the Stanley Parable. I don't know why I sang that, but anyways, that's how important right now. We're going to start a new game, because... I have played this, but I just want everyone to see like an in look. Now, I know that a lot of people have seen this game and played it before, but, you know, I haven't. So, I just want to try this on my channel. It's I, I heard that it's supposed to be a short game, but it's just full of fun. So, here, let's this just listen. The story of a man, Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a key. Orders came to him through a monitor next to his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and more. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month for every year. And although others might have considered it so Stanley relished every minute that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this moment. And Stanley... And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on a monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and walked out into the hall. It begins. Anyways, this looks amazing. It reminds me a lot of, like, Gmod, which I ate. decided to go to the staff line to check on his crew. He never functioned well by himself. Yeah, I thought maybe um, I'm going to go and be playing on the show because uh, my friends and I have developed a uh, little gaming hub that we have yet to set up soon. So we might play all Gmod together. You might see some on my channel. But for now, we got to keep going with this. Oh, God. When Stanley came to a set of two buildings, he entered the door. Uh, for this now, for this video, I'm just gonna make all the wrong choices possible. So screw left door, go on to right door. This was not the correct way to the employee garage. <laughs> Stanley knew exactly well, so he turned left at the first open door and walked back in the right direction. No, nope, screw you, buddy. Bye bye. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Maybe this is right. No one wanted to be around someone as bad at this thing as him. And since he was walking into the middle of nowhere, and was burning the entire storm, Stanley decided that he would punish himself. So when he came to the elevator, the doors opened, he stepped inside and pushed the button to get up. Yeah, I don't want uh, You know, I'm just going to press up see what happens. I don't know. Yeah! You happy now, buddy? You happy? I followed your stupid directions. Wow, this elevator is depressing. Look how blank it is. Just rows after rows after rows. Wow, it's just... It's, there's not a color on it. Yeah, it's, it's just black. Oh. Um... Hi? I, I don't know what what's happening. What? Wait, 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 hold on. What's happening? 
Now, no. It should have been no surprise that this thing would lead him to his death. No, stop. But he thought to himself, this is simply the price to pay for ruining a perfectly good story. So he resigned and willingly accepted his fate, the inevitable end toward which he had spent so long stumbling. This guy's a sociopath. This guy's a sociopath. He's gonna kill me because I didn't follow the story. Why? No. Farewell, Stanley. Cried the narrator as he sent his subject down the conveyor belt and into the enormous metal jaws. Am I saved? This whole instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. No. No, no, can, can I? Thank God. So I'm saved right now. So. Ow. It's a shame then that for all his work, it was such a meaningless victory for the narrator. Did he really think he would accomplish anything by murdering this disposable vessel? I want to play chess. No, let me play. What the? It's like. Caramel versus white chocolate. It's. <laughs> I want to play. I want to play as caramel. Let me play caramel. This looks like my desk. It looks like my freaking desk. And. Boop, boop. I don't know. Yeah, this is. This is almost just like it's just an open space for my desk. I, I heard something clink. I, anyways. What is this? Boop. N no. Boop. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Every possible choice Stanley could make had been designed for him long before he ever saw Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. I didn't mean to. Stanley was already dead. From the moment he hit start. I I wanna be in here. No. No. Am I stuck? No. Oh my god. No. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No. Uh, help. Eh? Uh, anything? ASDM? Or nothing? Oh, my God. Okay, well, it looks like that I got stuck. So, it looks like, well, we're playing again. A new game. Alright, you already know this, so I'm just going to skip it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, it... Yeah, see what I was talking about? It's the same thing. Just an open space last time. Stanley decided to go to the start line. To check on his own. Yeah, shut up. We already he heard you. Okay, fine. I'll go to your stupid door. Goodbye. Wrong choices. Farewell. Such a beautiful. <laughs> the, what was that? Alright. Alright, the music stopped. So, this is kind of awkward. Did I make the. Stanley entered the lounge. He was horrified to find not a single person. He decided he would walk up to see his boss, hoping that he would find an answer. Can I just say no? Like, can I just stay here? The corner's my friend. The corner's my friend. I don't need the boss. Corner. Boss. Corner. Boss. Nah, I'm gonna choose corner. Okay, well, it looks like we have no choice whatsoever. And it looks like all those po choices are the same. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Mm. 
Mm, fine, all right, fine. We'll go upstairs. Just so people don't have to, like, yell in the comments to kill myself because I chose the wrong answers. Yeah, you're right, I can't. So, I'm guessing behind here is his porn stash. That has to be it. His high collection of sex toys. Am I right? Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Stanley ventured forth into the newly open passage. No, it's just that you're just talking into my ear, you're like, yes. Yeah, one nine five seven. Gosh. Deeper into the bowels of the building, <laughs> Stanley had no idea where he was or what this place had. And just as he began to think he might not discover a thing, he emerged into a long room to find his porn stash. His co-workers. Even his own four two seven had a place on the wall. Oh, so the man set up so elaborate he asked. Was this simple surveillance or something even more? As if in answer to his question, the wall slid open before him, revealing the ultimate truth of the situation. Dun 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 Oh god. Why this facility is bigger than I thought. I mean Jesus. Buttons were labeled with emotions. Sad. Levers and knobs controlled actions. Walking, eating, doing work, or watching TV. Mm. Every input on this device monitored not the functions of a machine, but of a human being. And the reality began to sink in. Stanley, like so many other people, reduced to images on a monitor, has been under someone's control. Always at the mercy of this machine. Could this have been the only reason that boy number 427 was content with his boring job? That a machine had altered his emotions to accept it? He began to feel an unbridled rage, and at the peak of his anger, something happened. A spark. Stanley looked up and saw the generator overhead, still providing some small amount of power to the machine, keeping it alive. And knowing that this generator was all the kept controls running, Stanley moved to the ladder in the back of the room and began to climb towards the lines. It doesn't look like electricity, it's more as piss. It looks like piss raining down from a generator. Anyways, so I had to go up there. Hmm. What do these buttons do? Nothing. area. Right. I bet you something's gonna happen with those buttons. I don't know, but I'm just guessing. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna disable this thing because it looks evil. I mean, look at it. No. Yeah, I disabled it. What happened?
happened? Oh, I'm supposed to move. Oh, what's that? I can't see anything. <gasps> oh, I'm so stupid. As he stepped through the door oh into the God. fresh outside air, a feeling of liberation rushed through Stanley's body. Freedom! He had seen power. He had seen enslavement. And he had destroyed it. The underling was in control now. He had found his leading role. Stanley never discovered why everyone had gone missing, nor how and when he had come under the machine's control. But it didn't upset him, though, because he knew that this was how things were meant to happen. All he found was a delight unlike any he had ever known before. Never again would he follow someone else's orders without question. Never again would anyone tell Stanley where to go, what to do, or how to feel. No more bosses. No more instructions on screen. Stanley decides for himself. And he stepped out into the world. And he felt the cool breeze upon his skin. And Stanley was happy. Free man. Free man. Sweet. Is that the end? I, this guy's a genius. So it. Oh wow. So Kevin Bright a little bit. Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, this was a really fun game for everyone. I, I am gonna go back to this game and see some alternate choices. But anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace be with you.